Do you love rare toys? Well, we're all under quarantine, and you know, I've been to 36 toy fairs, so I've collected a few things. This is Jim Silver from TTPN. So instead of showing you something new, I want to show you some toys that you've probably never seen before. So why don't you take a walk with me, and we're going to go to the back dungeon or the basement of my house where I collect so much stuff that my wife says too much, but I keep collecting. Let's go into the room and you can see toys all over the place. You see cartons and boxes and toys everywhere. I am gonna pull four or five things and bring them upstairs and show you things I bet you've never seen. So let's go on up. There's a great story behind this toy. This is the electronic shooting hoops from Sababa Toys. And you know what's great about it? It never came out. Now, you might notice this play here, that's D. Wade, Dwayne Wade. And if I put my finger here, he will actually shoot a basketball. There's electronic score. It was done by Ahmad Rashad. There was a company most of you remember known as Sababa Toys. Shout out to Stone Newman, who was running Sababa. You're like, Jim, I have this great line. I have Dwayne Wade. And if you look at the box, you have LeBron James. You also have, who else is on here? You have Kobe, Hall of Famer, LeBron. Carmelo Anthony, Tracy McGrady, Dirk Nowitzki, they were coming out with all these figures. He goes, Jim, I'm gonna send you a sample. Well, I got sent a sample of this item. Great sounds. I saw a video of how it worked. But the problem was Sababa ended up being sold. They never made the item. So this is a toy that never came out, and I believe I have the only one in the world. And I'm sorry, Dwayne Wade, you don't have one. It was a cool toy and one of those things that just never hit retail. The story behind this toy is amazing. Now most of you won't recognize this figure because he's an arm wrestling action figure. He was made with the movie in the mid 80s over the top. Now there's a toy company called Luco and shout out to my friend Ken Lewis because I always joke when this movie's on. This was gonna be the hot thing. Sylvester Stallone was hot. He was the star of the movie. And he was making this whole arm wrestling movie. Luco signed the license, Stallone was starring. And then the movie came out and they saw pieces of the movie and they made it a love story. Yes, the movie featured arm wrestling, but it was really a love story between Sylvester, St Sylvester Stallone and his son. And this is the arm wrestling champion to end up Lucen to Stallone at the end. This is Bull. And this is the Bull figure that when you turn it, he will actually arm wrestle. So here's another toy that was supposed to be the hottest thing, ended up not being the hottest thing because you never know what you're gonna get with a movie. There's a great story behind this doll. There's a guy in the toy business who owns a fairly large toy company right now called Jay Foreman. He owns Basic Fun right now. Well, Jay was just starting out with his own company in the late 90s. He had just done Spice Girls for Gloop Toys, and it was time for Jay to start out on his own. So Jay started fighting for Britney Spears, and lo and behold, he got the license. Now, Britney had not yet become the superstar that she was, but Jay had a feeling after doing Spice Girls, she's the next big thing. Well, it ended up being the next big thing for Jay as it really catapulted his company. Well, Britney Spears changed the way dolls were made, so to speak. Look at the crop top. You never saw that in a doll. He actually did a really good sculpt of Britney, and on the back are all fun facts about Britney the Britney Spears doll and the singing Britney Spears doll, which is somewhere in my basement, were both huge hits. You know, Barbie always dominated the fashion doll aisle. This was really one of the first things to break through and has all the fun facts about Britney. And the sculpt is pretty good considering the time that it was in the 90s. This made Jay's company and led him to future success. Mattel is known for making dolls based on iconic figures and who's more iconic than Cher? This was done about 20 years ago, and they're like, but how do you make Cher? There's only one way to make Cher. It's in a Bob Mackie dress. You should see all the different ways Bob Mackie dressed Cher. You should, it's unbelievable the types of dresses that he comes up with, and I'm pretty sure she wore this one to the Oscars. I'm not sure the year she won, but she did definitely wear it in a ceremony. Only Cher would wear something like this, especially back 20 years ago. There's such a great story behind this. 
This is a toy that most people want, but most people can't get. You might be able to find it on eBay. It never came out. Now with the Star Wars movie, Revenge of the Sith, Hasbro was coming out with a new Star Wars line. So we walked into Toy Fair and we're told we have a very special press kit for you. And lo and behold, this was the press kit. I've never seen anything like this. So you think you have an Anakin figure and then you just open up the press kit and it's Darth Vader. So this is a toy that never hit retail. It's a press kit and everybody in the media, we've put ours away. There's not too many of them. And if you are interested in other rare toys, or more importantly, all the new and latest toys, subscribe to TTPM Toy Reviews as we have new reviews almost every day. And get ready, Baby Yoda's gonna be here sooner than you think. We're gonna have a preview soon.